Pastor Stuart Welch. And after having an interesting conversation at my gym this morning, it just prompted me to record my thoughts. And it's not just for me, but hopefully this may help you too. You see, in this moment in time, it, it seems like it's never been clearer. I'm, I'm talking about the division in our communities, our cities, our counties, our states, and, and in our country. I mean, I've heard the horrifying stories, you know, from before, but uh, today, even trying to have a rational discussion is just mind-blowing to me. However, as believers of Jesus Christ, we're, we're called to a higher standard. I mean, a standard that bears all, it suffers long, and it loves. And for how shall they tell us apart, the Bible says, because we have love for the brethren. You see, the Apostle Paul in Galatians 3, 27 and 28 said, For those who were baptized into Christ have been clothed with Christ. There's no Jew or Greek, there's no slave or free, male or female, since you are all one in Christ Jesus. You know, in relationships, you often hear how opposites attract, but today's climate shows us clearly that our humanistic nature pulls us towards those who look, think, and act just like we do. And we avoid those who don't. So we divide the world and our churches and our community into us and them. And before long, our differences become division and division breeds distrust and soon we have disgust. You ain't even got to say amen because I already know I'm telling the truth. Yet the gospel says a resounding no to this kind of foolishness or sin. You know, we're made by the same God, regardless of our skin color, our zip code, our native tongue, our net worth, or our gender. And we all have the same problem, and it's sin. And we all have the same need, which is Jesus, our Savior. For the gospel breaks down walls, it builds bridges, and unites. But the world divides. You see, heaven is not going to be segregated. So why do we tolerate it here and now? May God help us all, and I'm praying with you as you pray along with me that we may see Jesus in everyone that we meet. I, that, that was just mind-blowing to have this conversation this morning, and man, I just wanted to put it on wax, and I wanted to share it with y'all, and maybe, just maybe, one can make a difference in our cities, in our communities, and most of all, in our churches. So God bless you. I'm Pastor Stuart Welch with Bread of Life here in the wonderful city of Elk Grove. Hey, have a safe and healthy Thanksgiving. Wash those hands, use those masks, keep six feet apart when you can. God bless you. I love you all.